We're not here to make the world a better place. We are the better place. Throughout the scriptures, we see these places where heaven and earth meet, where they touch. We saw it first in the Garden of Eden, where heaven and earth touched. We saw it with Moses on Mount Sinai getting the, the Torah. We see heaven and earth meet. We saw heaven and earth meet in the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant in the tabernacle and in the temple. We saw heaven and earth meet in a pillar of cloud and a pillar of fire as God led his people out of slavery into the promised land. Ultimately, we saw heaven and earth meet in Jesus Christ, the Son of God and Son of Man, somehow perfectly human and perfectly divine. But you know where else heaven and earth meet? Where they touch? In God's people. In the kingdom of God. God dwells in me. He dwells in you. When our hearts are surrendered to, G to Jesus, he, sur he dwells in us by his spirit, just like he dwelled in the Holy of Holies in the tabernacle, just like he dwelt in the Holy of Holies in the temple. Our bodies become temples of the Holy Spirit. Where we are becomes holy ground, not anything to do with who we are, but who we are in Christ and who he is in us. And so when I bring my relationship with God, when I bring his presence dwelling in me, and you bring your relationship and understanding of God and his dwelling in you, and we come together to be God's people, he dwells in us individually, but he dwells among us corporately. And we are the place that heaven and earth touch. We are a reflection of the kingdom of God right in the middle of the kingdom of this world. And so it matters how we love each other. It matters how we care for one another. Not because we're supposed to, but because seeing Jesus has changed who we are. That's what Paul tells us in 2 Corinthians. He said when Moses saw God and his face glowed, he put a veil over his face. But we... Now, with Jesus, through the Holy Spirit, we look at God with unveiled faces. And when we turn to the Lord and we behold or we contemplate his glory, we are changed with ever-increasing glory until we look like Jesus.